Hello, my Pisces babies. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to pull some tarot cards and then some empowering questions for you. If you are already here on TikTok and if you want to hear your weekly love reading, please go and subscribe. There is a monthly charge for that, um, but you will get your lovely love readings every week and daily affirmations as well as whatever else we talk about. I'm also starting to do monthly drawings uh, when I get enough subscribers. If you're here on YouTube, the link is down below in the description box for my TikTok channel and you can subscribe over there. All right. Spirit, what else do you have for my Pisces babies? We have the Nine of Swords. So something has you stressed out. We also have the Seven of Cups. You have some kind of options. You're trying to take a chance on something. We have the King of Cups. Could be dealing with the Water Sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Or I feel like this could actually be you showing up in your own reading. So the Nine of Swords, something has you like really stressed out. The Seven of Cups is being a bit confused about some options, but you're wanting to take a chance on love or communicating love. We have the Nine of Cups. Your own emotional stability is very important to you. The Nines is all about individual. It's about how you feel. It's all about how you feel. And you giving love to yourself, like making yourself feel better. With the Five of Pentacles, you feel like you're not being seen or you may feel like you're being ignored. And we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a person who studies other people. Bottom deck energy we have is the Ace of Swords. You're trying to get clarity to something here. This wanted to move a little bit, so I'm going to take it. It's the world. Okay. So there's something going on here where it's not what you're used to it being. Um, it's like you're, you're used to things being a certain way and you want to get clarity on something. There's something here that's just not very clear to you and it's stressing you out. It's like, why is this happening? It's a mountain out of a molehill when it comes to the nine of swords, because it's a very temporary feeling. It's almost like one of those things, you know, when you go to the doctor and you get tested for something and then you worry about it, even though you don't have symptoms, it's like a, a, a normal test you would normally take, routine. You don't have symptoms or anything like that, but you still kind of worry about the outcome a little bit, you know? And then when you find out that you indeed are healthy, you're like, who? It's, it's one of those things where you really didn't have to worry, but as humans, that's what we do. So there is a sense of you worrying about something, and we have the Seven of Cups. This is about options. This is about pathways. This is about, like, are things how I want them to be? Do I feel safe? Do I feel secure? There could be something here where it's just throwing a lot of confusion to you. So with the Fool, you're taking a chance of, like, pouring your heart and your love into yourself. It's like there could be a sense of, okay, when the King of Cups shows up with the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles is about not feeling seen, feels ignored. So you could be kind of victimizing yourself a little bit, like this is happening to me, instead of you looking at it like this is happening for me. So with the Nine of Cups, you are looking at your feelings. You're looking at how you feel, how the stress makes you feel, and you're trying to take a chance on getting more clarity so the page of swords like let's say let's say you haven't talked to somebody in a long time and so you reach out and they ignore you or whatever you're not getting an answer and so you start doing some detective work to get your own clarity because in the past this has been your world this has been you know, something that you could depend on. This has been something that you have been able to fall back on or whatever the case may be. So with the Five of Pentacles, you feel like somebody is turning their back on you and literally walking away when you're reaching out. You're like, what? You don't see me? Like, where are you going? But I also feel like for some of you, 
this could be about you walking away from that feeling. It's like, I don't like feeling this feeling, so I'm walking away and I'm getting research and I'm getting clarity as to what direction I should go in order to not feel this way because I'm paying attention to how I feel about this. So you could be getting some truth about, you know, your world and how things work and how things are coming together. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Virgo Capricorn Taurus, but there's somebody here who is very loving, very nourishing and wanting to, you know, make certain things stable. And we have the Temperance card. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You don't have to be. This could be the energy that that you are trying to portray or, you know, trying to get to. We have the Four of Cups. You know, you're so busy looking over here at cups in front of you. You don't see what's coming in for you. So with the Page of Swords being here, I feel like that you could be looking so much on the outside that you're not looking at what's coming in for you by certain things happening. Sometimes sometimes things fall away, so that way better things can come into your life. You know, better things suit it for you, but you have to see that. You're trying to balance certain things out. Alchemize wine and, you know, water into wine. You know, so there's a lot of stability here. There's a lot of nourishment. There is things for you if you allow them in, but you have to cut out what no longer serves you to allow in better things. So, Spirit, what empowering questions do you have for my Pisces babies? What empowering questions do you have for my Pisces babies today, for this week? We have, what is it that fascinates me so much that the thought or feeling of it won't leave me alone? How do I put this feeling into action right now? We have, what is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? We have, is there something in my life that makes me forget time while I'm doing it? What is it? As long as it's not something like, you know, an escapism, like drinking or drugs or anything like that. Go do something that you enjoy, that you don't escape your feel, you know, like you're not escaping from life, but you are doing something productive to make you happy, like genuinely happy. We also have, am I doing more of the things that keep me alive or more of the things that make me feel alive? What makes me feel alive? This is all about self-love, Pisces. It's all about self-love, cutting out what no longer serves you, leaving the past in the past, leaving, you know, everything so you can open up to the future. So that is what I have for you for this week. If you want your love reading, please subscribe on my TikTok channel. Information is in the description box if you're here on YouTube. If you're on TikTok, go to my bio and it gives you instructions on how to subscribe. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, my Scorpio babies. This is your reading for the week. Um, we're going to pull some tarot and then pull some empowering questions to see what, what spirit wants you to be asking yourself for this week. If you are already following me on TikTok and if you're interested in looking at your weekly love readings, please hit that subscribe that is in my bio on my channel for subscriptions you get weekly love readings for your zodiac sign and you get daily affirmations and then we have, we do other fun stuff like you know um, drawings and stuff like that for free readings all right spirit I just now have to stop the camera because there literally was a cat fight going on behind me. And I have 
I do have three cats and they get along great. But when one gets aggy, the other one kind of sounds off. Hey, stop. lion -O. stop. So one gets aggy and wants to bother other people. And then the other one gets aggy and it ends up being a competition. So you may be in a situation where it's kind of a competition going on for your energy. Um, like one person pulling you, the other person pulling you. Um, or it could be one uh, choice pulling you. You know, you might have multiple choices here since the Seven of Cups is popping out. Yeah. Bottom deck energy we have is the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is about having a brand new foundation. It's about having a new path, a new sense of security. Could be very well job related, but it could also be energy related. Like it's stable, it's safe, it's home. It's something I want to build. So with the Page of Cups, the Page of Cups is like a spark of an idea. I want to follow my heart in this direction. It could also mean an apology for some, but I really feel like that this is movement for you versus an apology. Um, we have the Moon card here. The Moon card is trusting the journey without knowing the outcome or the destination, really. So we have the Devil being present. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. You don't have to be. But the devil represents fears. It represents toxic bonds. It, re it represents anything that you tie yourself to that does not serve your greater good. We do have the king of cups, which is you showing up in your own reading. I feel like that you're pouring self-love in, into you. You know, like you're pouring your own cup of self-love. You're looking at what your options are with the seven of cups. It's like, I have these options. I'm not confused where I want to go. It's just that I have multiple places where I want to go. So for some of you, you could be letting go of these toxic bonds, and that's where the cat fight comes in. It's like, no, I don't want Scorpio going anywhere. I want Scorpio staying right here. You might be choosing a whole different path than what you normally would choose with new people, new friends, new environment, new job, but it's all helping you elevate, especially with the Six of Pentacles. You're going to a place where... You are going to get what you pour into it. So if you pour it into it in a negative way, then you're going to get negative. If you pour into it in a positive way, then you're going to get positive. And this is where it's brand new for you. This is exactly where it's brand new for you. So you have different choices. You have different pathways you can take. And you're really listening to your heart. It's like, I know that this is where I want to be. And I'm moving on from this energy. I'm moving on from my fears. I'm moving on from the toxic shit. I'm moving on from, you know, if you're a bachelor or bachelorette, you're changing your mindset to be more at home. You know, with one, one choice is how I'm going to put it. <laughs> so it, it's a sense of you like really calming certain things down. And even though this path is unfamiliar to you, it's the whole point that as you are transitioning and as you are changing, the old addictive behavior or the old people you're trying to cut from, they're going to be pulling at you. They're going to be pulling at you like, no, please don't go. Don't leave us. You know, like that's what's going to, that's how it's going to feel. But I feel like that you are looking out for yourself to be more stable. You want to be more prosperous, more abundant, and you want reciprocation. You're like, I have all this power. So if I pour all my power, you know, if I, I shouldn't say it like that. If I pour all of my, you know, work into this, look at what I'm going to get back. So there's something here where whatever you pour into it, you're going to get back. We are going to pull some empowering questions for you from the week. All right, Spirit, what empowering questions do you want my Scorpios to ask themselves this week? What empowering questions do you want my Scorpio babies to ask themselves this week? All right. 
we got a few. Hey, stop. Like, they really are bugging this today. <laughs> They're really bugging today. So, you must have some energies that you're cutting free or some kind of habits you're cutting free, and they're not wanting it. All right, so we have, would I be proud of myself if I spoke to other people in the same way as my thoughts speak to me? How do my thoughts speak to me? We also have, what kinds of routines or habits limit my experience of everyday life? And this is what you're changing for yourself. We have, how have I become me? What am I like? And we also have, what is my instinct telling me to do? Gut. I want to say one more here. I want the bottom back energy, but we're, here we go. How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? So, that is what I have for you for this week, Scorpio. If you want your love reading, uh, please subscribe to me on TikTok. There is a monthly charge for that. Um, all the details are there. And if you're here on YouTube listening to this, the link is down below uh, for you to get to my TikTok channel. It's in the description box. So, that is what I have. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Cancers. Let's find out what is going on with you for this week. For those of you who are here on TikTok and you want to subscribe and get your love reading, please do so. The information is in my bio. And if you subscribe, you get daily affirmations and whatever else we talk about, plus your love reading for the week. For your zodiac sign and plus I'm going to be starting drawings and things like that more fun stuff the more subscribers I get and if you're here on YouTube listening to this or watching this the information for my TikTok is down below in the description box all right spirit what else do you have for my cancer babies you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. Or a Leo or Aries. We have the Ace of Cups. You want a brand new beginning when it comes to following your heart on something. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the King of Wands. Yep. You have a lot of good energy going on. We have the Ace of Swords. You're getting a lot of good clarity, okay? This is how I'm reading this, Cancers. So, we have the Death card here, which is a rebirth. A sense of a rebirth. Now, with the Knight of Wands, you might be trying to find different ways to doing something. The Knight of Wands is in a learning phase. Very intellectual soaking up the information that they need because they are planning movement not only that they make it fun they make it light it's like they know what they need to do but they could be making it fun they could be making it light they could be possibly making a few jokes about it it's just a point of i know that i have business to take care of so i can either choose to do it in a very heavy way or I can choose to kind of have fun with it. You know, like, let me have fun with this. Let me see what it is that I can do. I almost feel like you are learning things about yourself where you're like, hey, I can do this. And it feels light. It feels fun. It, I can actually do this, you know. And so you kind of play around with it. The temperance card is about alchemizing water into wine. So you're taking the negative things that you've had in life. You're taking the, the things that's held you back and you're like, you know what? If I take this and I alchemize it into something wonderful, look at the product I am creating. It's all about creation with the King of Wands here. So I feel like that you are alchemizing the bad into the good. And this is what's starting a brand new beginning when it comes to your emotional status. So you're following your heart, you're following that cup, you're going for it. The Wheel of Fortune is a very karmic wheel. 
You don't know how it's gonna, you know, it's gonna spin, but you don't know where it's going to stop. And I feel like that you are just rolling with the punches, but the good thing about the Wheel of Fortune is whatever it is that you manifest is what you're going to get back. So if you don't believe you're gonna get something good, guess what, you're not. This is a talk that I had with my fiance yesterday, right? So when it comes to manifestation, if you're busy saying, I don't want so-and-so in my life, I don't want this in my life, I don't want that in my life, the universe doesn't hear the don't want. The universe hears the end part of what it is that you don't want. So let's say you don't want pizza in your life. All the universe hears is pizza. So they keep giving, you know, the universe keeps giving you more pizza. So if you talk about more of what you want, I want ice cream. The universe is going to give you more ice cream. I want this instead of you focusing on what you don't want you're focusing on what you do want and this is what is like a click for you you're like wow okay so if I say that I want a better job I'm gonna get given a better job instead of saying I don't want this you know crap at my job you're talking about what you do want instead so the more that you talk about what you want the more that you think about what you want the more that you're manifesting what you want and that is what the universe is giving you that's what this wheel of fortune is a reminder of so the king of wands is somebody who is very motivational they're all about movement they don't they don't sit on shit right they don't sit there and wait for stuff but this king is looking at your past. Like, they're looking in the past. It's like, I'm moving away from this past. And the reason why this king is looking at the past is so that way they could see what happened wrong so they're not doing that in the future. And that's where the clarity is coming in. This king is not dwelling in the past. This king is using it for productive purposes. You know, like, I'm not dwelling in the past. I don't want to live in the past, but I need to look at the past so I can learn from the mistakes I made in the past. And that's what's giving you brand new clarity. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is a sense of celebration. We do have the Ten of Swords. You're tired of the fight. You're tired of the battle, which is exactly why you want this clarity so that way you can move forward into your own world. It's the end of a cycle. Once the end of the cycle happens, we do have the tower and we have the two of wands. It's like, I need to clear this off. This is not a bad tower. This is you clearing off all of your bullshit so that way you can have a brand new beginning at making a choice as to what direction you want to go next. And we have the nine of pentacles. It's all about self-love and self-preservation, baby. It's all about putting in to yourself. It's all about building yourself. And this is stressful because it could be a new thing for you. You have to learn something new, balance things out. You know, you're learning something new about yourself. It's a whole new level of self-love here. So we're going to pull some empowering questions that Spirit wants you to ask yourself for this week. Spirit, what empowering questions do you have for my cancer babies for the week? What empowering questions do you have for my cancer babies for the week? So you're getting to know yourself and being there more for yourself. What would happen if I didn't try to control my future is one question. Another one is what or who am I beneath all of my roles? Getting to who you are is what you're trying to do. What have been the most defining moments that have helped shape my life? See, this is where the King of Wands is coming in and looking at that past. It's like, what helped shape me? I'm grateful for that shaping. Okay, now what lessons did I learn from it? How can I pertain it to now? How can I do better and not stay stuck in the same grade? And then we also have, am I focusing more on what my life looks like than on what it feels like? So go by what you feel. 
versus how you want things to look. And this is what could be difficult because if you're a giver and you are always focused on what everybody else is feeling, then you're not taking the time to really assess how you feel. So that is what I have for you for this week, my Cancer Babies. If you want to hear your love reading, please go subscribe if you're here on TikTok and you will hear your love reading. It, it should be already posted or close to being posted um, for subscribers only. And if you are on YouTube, please go down to the description box. My TikTok information is down below and you can subscribe from that point. All right. Thank you so much. I am sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.